Okay, I'm uh, Chris Harris from Lux Cafe, and uh, today I'm cooking a um, tuna dish. Uh, it's a crusted, coriander crusted tuna fillet with uh, green mango and uh, pork pork salsa, and uh, has a scented uh, wasabi mashed potato, and um, it's a great summer dish, nice and easy to cook. These, um, these pork pork's I actually got out of my backyard, but um, you're, you can get them, I've got everything else from Kenny Little's, like the mango and everything like that. All these um, fruits are in season at the moment. Now the secret to the um, salsa is having nice uh, green pawpaw, but you see I've picked one that's just got a nice bit of colour in it. So it looks nicer on the actual dish. It's not um, so green and pale, it just gives it a nice colour. And it does change, the flavour changes as it goes from green to orange. And um, the secret to the salsa is having everything in a uniform sort of um, julienne strips. Okay, um, so pickled ginger. See how it's just all sort of, you know, I'm not, it's all sort of pastel colours. I'll cut, I'll trim down this tuna. Uh, see how it's nice. When you're looking for a fresh piece of tuna, you need to look at something really deep in colour. Um, you can really tell a fresh piece of tuna because it's really nice and soft and you could feel that you could push your fingers through that. Now, uh, this sesame seed, I'll just put in this bowl, this is the crust for that, and it um, has um, a little bit of um, coriander powder in it. Now into the sesame seeds, just to coat the outside. The dressing for the salsa, which is uh, the soy mirin, sweet mirin, and uh, has um, sesame oil uh, and lime juice as well. Get everything ready for when you cook off your tuna because the tuna's only going to take about three minutes on each side and it's done. Uh, this is coriander, just going in the salsa. The secret to like a, really keeping the salsa nice and crisp is not adding the dressing until right at the end. Okay, so just heat your pan, get it really nice and hot. Okay, so when the oil, just the pan starts smoking, it's time to put the tuna in. And um, everything from here has to be pretty quick because your tuna is the thing that's the the part of the dish, the main part of the dish, so it's got to go straight from here onto the plate. Turn that onto a low heat. Heat through your mash. You can once you've done your mashed potato, you put it into a warm pan and just push it around, and the mash will actually come away from the edges of the, the saucepan. It just makes a really nice, like creamy texture of mashed potato in your mouth. Okay, so now you can start serving it. Now this pan's for just um, sautéing some baby spinach and also just now that I've turned the fish over I'll just put a piece of lime into the pan and that just um, sort of char and cooks the lime it's a much nicer way it's it takes uh, brings the sugar out in the lime and just makes it really nice when you squeeze it over the fish you just want to wilt the spinach it only takes 10 20 seconds as soon as the spinach just starts going soft don't need it much oil in there or anything, it just does its own thing, it's just like that. So it's pretty much um, wilting while it's sitting on top of your mashed potato. It keeps all the freshness in there. Okay, then your tuna. It's just going to be nice and light pink in the middle. Top. Now that's the part where you can put in your dressing. Just give it a nice mix around with your hands, but you don't want to sort of crush it all together, you want it all to and look really fresh and just sit that on top there you go and just a little bit of dressing over the top that all runs down and through all the salsa and everything and then your piece of lime on the side and just a little bit of uh, sesame seeds over the top and that is it coriander crusted tuna fillet with green pawpaw and mango salsa with wasabi scented mashed potato and um, sauteed baby spinach, a beautiful summer dish.